Just over two years ago, around the same time that I decided to systematically destroy this channel, I posted a video called Prescribed Amphetamines at 30, is it worth it? And I think two years later, now that I'm no longer taking amphetamines, I can finally give you guys an accurate and for the most part honest overview of whether or not it was or is worth it. At least speaking from my own personal experience, because this is my swim channel where I just share my own personal insights or ideas. And how is that any different from psych substance? I don't know, fucking beats me, man. Now, the first thing I like to point out is just visually how different I look two years later now being off amphetamines. Let's do a little split screen. Here's when I made the is it worth it to be a prescribed amphetamines video? I'm pretty sure that I look a lot better now. And I don't mean for the fact that I'm working out again. I also mean just my skin. Do you see this interesting glossy look that my skin has? The amphetamines would cause my skin to kind of retain a lot of water and to also have this general shine. We're not talking about a desirable shine like a shiny Pokemon. We're talking that. I look bloated, skinny fat, and ugly, if you ask me. If me looking a lot better now isn't evidence enough that it was not worth it to be on fucking amphetamines, then get ready for my story of just how shitty they actually were. And it's funny, in that video I mentioned that I was, um, I was afraid that it would get to the point where I thought I needed them to work. Well, they 100% got me to that point, probably around the same time as I made the video. I wasn't able to work without them. I mean, like, I could sit down with a video in my editor, you know, just ready to go, but I would feel like there was this actual wall in front of me that I could not penetrate. Like, I could not move my hand to the touchpad to start editing. It was very strange, but as soon as I take the amphetamine, then it got easier, but that soon became the new normal. You have to take the drug just to reach what was initially normal for you. Now, granted, there is more variance to that than, you know, it sounds. For instance, the first maybe hour or two of taking the compound once addiction sets in and tolerance sets in was a little more boosted than, say, my normal everyday self before taking it. But after two hours, once you have that tolerance, you really do level out into this zone where it's like you are now worse off than before you tried it. Good example is say you have an eight hour workday and say normally when you're not on amphetamine, even if you have ADHD, say that for those entire eight hours, you're working relatively well. What the ADHD drugs, what amphetamines do is they make it so that say for four out of the eight hours, you're working fantastic, but for the final four hours, you're working maybe at half of your original speed, which for me just means I'm not going to be working at all. And this is a cumulative effect. For instance, in the beginning, I might have got eight plus hours of really intense, solid work from them. But then as I started using them and as the tolerance builds more and more, it depleted to the point where, like I'm saying, I might have got maybe two or three hours of good work, and then I would just be at the point where I'd have such a harsh crash and come down, um, the come downs do get worse, by the way, where it was like I was better off if I just didn't take anything. But when you are addicted to something, you're actually not better off without it because your brain is no longer producing as much dopamine as it normally does. So without it, you're actually in a huge deficit compared to just before you started taking the drug, meaning you now need to consume it just to be able to work at all, which gets you in this interesting merry-go-round fuck and you can't get out of the loop because you're fucked if you do and you're fucked if you don't. So you just kind of end up taking them anyway. What else are you going to do? You've probably neglected friends and family because you've gotten just so crazy focused in what you were doing that without work you have nothing. You've, you've lost a lot of the things that you thought you cared about. And that's uh, my next point. Taking the amphetamines made me so focused on productivity to the point where I stopped really caring about spending time with my family. And now without it, it's like night and day. I enjoy spending time with my family. I actually look forward to it versus when I was taking those drugs. It was like, it, it became an annoyance. It's like, oh man, family time. I'd rather be downstairs working. And then, you know, you get in this cycle where it's, it's so cliche, but you convince yourself that you're working to support the family, so what you're actually doing is sometimes more important than spending time with them. And we all know that's bullshit. You think someone who's had enough LSD experiences would be able to make it through that fog, but it got so dense for me uh, due to the drugs and due to just the negative self-talk that propelled from them where I did get stuck in some very classic cliche um, ruts that I could not get out of without discontinuing my use of the compound. Now, I like to point out that not everybody who takes these drugs is going to have effects as severely debilitating as I did. There are apparently those freaks of nature who can consume their amphetamines and who actually do perform and enjoy life more with them, or at least they think that they can for the first three years of use before they hit the point where I hit, where it's like, fuck me sideways, I should never have taken it. Um, yeah, a lot of the people who do rant and rave about the positive effects, including myself, are still in their honeymoon phase with them, and they haven't yet realized that 
the highs are soon going to be exchanged for deeper and deeper lows to the point where it's no longer going to be worth taking them whatsoever if you value your I don't know, life in some instances, because it really can push you into states of severe depression. So no, prescribed amphetamines at 30, to backtrack to that question, it's not worth it. Um, now, it's not all negative. There were some positives. I do find now, without the amphetamines, I'm able to better access states of flow. It's kind of like the amphetamine gave me such a laser focus ability where I was able to speak really quickly. And it, it, in a sense, it does put you in a flow state, especially when you're making videos. I found that my thoughts and ideas would just come so much more naturally without having to dig so deep through the hard fucking dirt to get to the good gold ideas that I might have had buried in you know, inside the fluff. Whereas now, it's almost like without the amphetamines, I've got a um, electric drill bit and I'm just like and I can fly right down to those good ideas and excavate them as if I was on the amphetamine but without needing to go through the debilitating crashes that came with it. As you can tell, I'm talking relatively quickly right now and I'm not on any amphetamine whatsoever. It's almost like I've maintained the ability to talk fast. I'm starting to glitch a little bit here and fumble over my words because I'm trying to show off and showing off never seems to work well for me. It kind of just makes me look like a goddamn idiot. Yeah, so I have maintained some of the positive aspects but I would like to point out that this ability to access that amphetamine like speed talk flow was not privileged to me right out of the gates. Initially upon discontinuing my use I was targeted with a lot of negative effects. I felt like I was a mess of a person. I was not able to work whatsoever. I went through some bouts of very severe uh, depression. Um, it was pretty miserable. Not gonna lie. It was difficult to crawl out of that pit. Uh, but Thanks to microdosing mushrooms and thanks to some very intense psychedelic trips that got me to get back in that loop of thinking I had quit only to start taking them again after and then thinking I quit to start taking them again after. After that whole cycle, I can now say that I no longer feel the need to consume them to get work done, which uh, is a point I never thought that I would get to ever. It's crazy to actually be here. It's also crazy that I was only using them for about four years, and during that four years, I started off taking them maybe one or two times a week, to uh, within two years, I was taking them steadily three or four times a week, and then the final, I don't know, one to two years, I was almost taking it daily, and it got to the point where initially I was taking 20 milligrams, I bumped that quickly up to 50 with a 10 milligram booster of dextra, yeah, dexedrine, also known as dextroamphetamine, and then near the end of it, I was taking 50 to 70 milligrams of Vyvanse with at least, like almost always, I was taking two booster doses, so so a total of 20 more milligrams of dexedrine, followed by maybe half half of the time, so occasionally another 10 milligrams of dexedrine, putting my overall, you know, usage at 70, 80, 100 milligrams a day. Granted, Liz Dexamphetamine has a heavy, has more a molecular weight, so it's about half as potent as just pure dexedrine, because you gotta uh, make up for that lysine molecule being latched onto it that your body cleaves off to give you the slow release. So if you cut that in half, then I was around 35, 40, 50, 60, 60, 65 or 75 milligrams of pure dextroamphetamine. Well, not pure, you know what I mean. Eventually, it was becoming dextroamphetamine, surging through my goddamn circuits every single day. Now, you gotta think, that's gonna take quite the toll on someone, which is why, now that I've been off it, I have been focusing on microdoses, which I do believe have helped to rebuild some of that damaged neural network in my mind, and it's caused me to come full circle, and now I don't feel like I am at any type of detriment from my use. In fact, I feel like I'm stronger because of it. That's not to say that I think all of you motherfuckers out there should start taking amphetamines so you can go through this whole cycle of abuse just to come back healed and better. No, I'm just trying to give hope to all you motherfuckers who are still in that cycle. And I do want to pinpoint and kind of eliminate illuminate the fact that it even myself I made it look like it was easy to quit I made it look like in a video it was called the trip that killed me I just one day had this series of six or seven LSD trips and then I realized the folly of my ways and I quit amphetamines cold turkey but after that video that video is actually a lie because after that video I did start using amphetamines again yeah I'm full of shit. Don't trust a word that I say never trust a drug addict so it's like after that video I started taking them again but it wasn't as heavy as initially. So so all that the acid trips really did was get me to lower my dose. From say maybe 70 or 50 milligrams of Vyvanse a day, I dropped it to like 30. Or on some days I would take, you know, 5 to 20 milligrams of dexedrine uh, instead of the Vyvanse, which, you know, essentially is the same thing. Dexedrine is just more instant release because I would chew those motherfuckers, not take them as intended. Um, but anyway, after that video was another solid 7 or 8 months of slowly ramping the use down and substituting for microdosing to until uh, I got to the point where I no longer needed it. So it was really 
in essence, a very slow taper to get off the amphetamines to get to the point where I'm at now where I don't need to take them at all. I'm not saying that I don't take any compounds. Like I said, I still microdose. I'm not completely healed. It's not like I'm au natural over here. There's still some chemicals that I consume to help me get work done. I would love to be completely natural, but I don't know if it's in the cards for me or I don't know if it's something that I actually want to do because I enjoy the effects of these things and they do work as great tools as aids to help you stay proficient and getting shit done if you know how to use them wisely and safely and if you're using the right compounds. And I would definitely say that amphetamine or all the derivatives, probably methylphenidate as well, I would say that they are not worth taking. They're worth taking if you can keep your dose down to maybe 5 to 10 milligrams of amphetamine, be it Adderall, which is 75 to 35 mix of dextro and levoamphetamine, or just pure dexedrin, or if you can take the equivalent of, say, 20 to 25 milligrams of Vyvanse. I'm not quite sure of Ritalin, methylphenidate, or um, Concerta what the dose equivalency is, but you want to keep your doses low, and I don't believe in dosing every single day because that's going to build a chemical dependence, meaning when you're not on it, your brain's not going to release the same amount of dopamine, and you're going to be fucking fucked. So as to not be fucking fucked, even if you have ADHD... I don't think you need that shit, dog. I didn't need that shit. You don't need that shit. None of us need that shit. I'm so much better now, and I would largely attribute feeling better to the microdosing, which has been proven to cause neurogenesis, so your brain generates new brain cells. Who would have thought that could be possible? And I would attribute it to daily meditation and working out. Essentially, I have contracted discipline. Oh, I'm contracting a disease of discipline where I've got this coronavirus sphere and here I am getting discipline. That has helped me significantly more than taking drugs, which you get what you give out. In other words, you think that you're taking this drug and it's giving you this great high and making you more productive in the day, but really you're paying for it somewhere else. And eventually in the long term, it really does have a negative cumulative effect where the lows get worse and worse and worse. And it gets to the point where you probably are just so far into the addiction. You don't remember that you were way better off without it. Now, if you do want to get on the train of quitting, um, just be prepared for it to be a long battle. It's not just for a lot of us. It's not just going to be like a quick fight, cold turkey, that shit jump off, I'm done. It's going to be a long psychological battle, and um, it sucks, but hey, you got yourself in this hole, and now when you climb out of it, you're going to have the new muscles that you built and the new resilience from making it free, and you're going to feel so much fucking better, like I do, and now i got to go on my daily walks because I'm healthy as fuck. Peace out, guys. Fuck these drugs. It wasn't worth it, but it kind of was because I'm stronger now. Take it as you will, and that's my video. Bye.